Because Jesus rose again from the dead, we have many wonderful promises. But today, I want you to understand that because Jesus rose again from the dead, it put him in a position to be for us what all mankind needs. Listen to what the Bible says in Romans chapter 4, verses 8 and 9. For if we live, we live to the Lord. And if we die, we die to the Lord. So then whether we live or whether we die, we are the Lord's. For to this end, Christ died and lived again. Why? That he might be Lord, both of the dead and of the living. We understand today how important it is because of the resurrection that we worship the Lord Jesus Christ. He is the name given above every name, that at his name, every knee will bow and every tongue will confess what? That Jesus Christ is Lord. I want you to understand today in a practical sense, it's wonderful to know that because Jesus rose again, I am in him and therefore I am justified before God. I have the hope of eternal life. I have a new purpose in living. All of these wonderful truths are part of what God's word reveals to us that are a result of the resurrection. But today, understand this, because Jesus died and because he rose again, he is the Lord. He is the Lord of all. He is the Lord of the living. He is the Lord of the dead. And so today, I want to call upon you. I want to challenge all of us to really be people who are worshiping him, recognizing him, acknowledging him as the Lord of our life. Each and every day, we should be spending time worshiping before the Lord. And then because we worship him and acknowledge him as the Lord of our life, we need to be submitted and obedient to him. Why? Because he rose again. Because Jesus rose again, he is Lord of all. He is your Lord. He is my Lord. He is the Lord of the living. He is the Lord of the dead. He is the Lord of all. He is worthy of our worship and our obedience.